Hello guys, I'm Yoramix and welcome to, to today's this week's video on YouTube. I'm going to do a certain jumping puzzle in Guild Wars 2. You'll need to head over to this waypoint, Post Run Ward Waypoint in Lion's Arch. As you can see here where I am on the map. We're going to head this way. You might see that um LA has changed a bit because of a certain event that has been going on. It has recently closed but now you can see the aftermath. LA has been obliterated almost. There are only two of the three uh, jumping puzzles left. It, there's one is completely blocked off and the other one I can't seem to be able to do it anymore because I die on a certain part which I used to be able to do but now it seems I can't anymore I don't know why so I'm not going to show you that one either because I would just die over and over and that would be pretty boring I suspect so uh, I can't rem remember the name of this one but it's actually one of the easiest in the in the entire game it really is if you know what to do it's not that hard oops I actually have to go up here then like this jump over to this rock jump up here over here up here now we're climbing on the final sets of stones towards the end of this jumping puzzle just jump a bit over these rocks and so this is the only one as you can see I've done this bef uh, today before because I tried recording this before but I kinda had some corruption going on in the file <coughs> so I recorded it again now I'm going to show you how to get to that second one that is available right now because you might not be able to find it if you don't look it up and I'm going to try to survive but I'm only going to do it one time because else it would not be in entertaining or interesting. So you go to this waypoint and you head over to Tox Mill right here. And uh, yeah, just go around here. You see some hay whales. Jump on them. Jump over to this rock and on the shed. It's a sp or stable, I don't know. And now there's a hidden area right behind these plants which you can go up. And now you can see your right next to the waterfall but it's also not there it's actually up and I don't know why this foliage is being so annoying maybe they have to patch out or something and off behind these plants is another secret area who would have thought and then you jump up these trees not no, strokes I mean, not that hard. Just jump like this, like this, over here. And as you can see there's also a vista here, so if you don't know how to get there, you do now. And the jumping puzzle is right here. Now normally you jump right like this, but uh... Oh! Oh! seems like I did it this time so I'm going to try to show you it if I fail I'll not repeat it again but it's this is a fun one too a bit harder than the last one but um, it's also a very fun one now you should really follow this strange light but 
I'm not going to do that because I know the way. This way. If you want to I believe it's this way. Yeah. I always have to search for it a bit. But I usually find it. I usually find it. You yeah, just have to look for some walls that you can run through. Some of the walls do not glide. I believe this one is... I don't know. God damn it, how... Is it this one then? No. This one? Ah yes, it's through here. And then right here I believe. Or is it... This way? Yes. I believe it's right. Yes, it's right here. So it's just looking for a bit of non walls which you can walk through, which you don't collide with. So then we have a pretty basic jumping. It's pretty basic jumping, just jump on these rocks trying to get on top of here. Nothing too hard. J jump on the stairs. This bit can be kinda tricky too. Exactly. Just in this part, just go straight on in the middle. If you do not walk right in the middle, look out for this because it will bleed you and will seriously damage you. So just wait a bit until your bleeding holds up. Uh, stops and just regenerate naturally so uh, this is just a matter of timing really spot just a matter of timing they go back up after a while so just get past this part as quickly as possible once they up Now you've just follow the light. Time to do no, 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 no. Oh, that was close. Now jump on here. Go through. Just keep following the light. <laughs> the light is your best friend in here. This part is quite possibly the most, most annoying part here. It just keeps. You know, the lights keep going on and off. See? Very annoying, you can't see a thing. You can sorta of see the outlines of the rocks with AOE things. But I do not recommend to using that because... For various reasons. You just jump on here, go like this. Wait until it's light again. That's very, very important. Because if you're going to jump where you have when you have no light, you'll probably jump the right the wrong direction and fall down so you have to start all over again. So it's just a matter of patience. Just to wait until it gets light again. It can be very annoying as you see. It just gives you time for one jump sometimes. And sometimes it's you know, some sometimes it's a little bit longer light. See? Up, I did it. And now this is just a, a sort sort of a riddle. He says um he says just he just says just remember where you are and that will be the answer. And as you see this rock looks like the one we entered, so we fall down here, and you fall in the water. The other parts have, um, have you get you trapped and uh, and will let you die, because yes, you see the water is not deep enough to catch you your fall damage. And as we can see, 
we reached the chest. And we done it. Now, to get out of here, you just need to go through here. Up here. Keep going up. And you'll also see a, a cultural weaponsmith. And you can buy pirate weapons here for level 40 with karma. So, this was it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you know how to do this now. And um, I guess I'll see you later. Bye. Just jump down here.